All right, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a local web server and PHP server on a Mac. Um, so we're using uh, the latest version of Mac OS. Uh, we're just going to open up Terminal here. And the nice thing about uh, the newer versions of Mac OS is that um, it's pretty simple to set up a web server and a PHP server because um, most of it's all kind of built in. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is open up Terminal and we'll want to start by typing sudo uh, and then su and a dash. Uh, this is going to give us or switch us to um, root uh, so that we can have full permissions to do everything that we need to do. Enter your password for the computer and now you are the root user. Uh, now that we are the root user, uh, the first thing we'll start by typing is Apache Control or Apache CTL and then the word start. We're going to open up Chrome and just confirm that our server is now running. So we'll go to uh, http colon slash slash localhost and it works. Um, we see that we now have a web server. Um, extremely quick and simple, uh, but we still have to enable PHP. PHP is not yet running, so we're going to uh, change directories to our etc apache2 folder. And we're going to be able to take a look at what's inside with the ls command. Um, we're going to make a copy of the httpd.conf file. This is the config file that tells our server what to do, how to run. Um, and we're going to make a little backup copy before we make changes to it. So we'll just uh, back that up with a cp command and then the first parameter after the cp is the name of the file that we want to copy and the second parameter is the name of the file we want to copy it to. Um, so now we're going to open up a, an editor called nano. Um, there are other editors as well but I do like nano so we'll just do a nano and then httpd.conf and then return um, and it's a pretty long file with lots of config information in here but we're going to go down uh, and try to find where it says load module PHP 7. Um, so we want to find our PHP 7 module, which should already be in here, but we just have to find it. And there it is. So the hashtag in front of the line means that it's a comment and not doing anything right now. So we'll remove the hashtag, uh, making it lo no longer a comment. You will exit the nano editor by doing control X, and then it'll ask us if we want to save. We'll type Y for yes, press return. Uh, it will confirm the name and press return again. Uh, and now we can um, do, uh, and now we'll do Apache Control restart uh, to restart the server. Now that we've changed the configuration, um, we'll just refresh our page to make sure that the server is still running, which it is. Um, but now we need to test that PHP has actually been installed um, and working correctly. So we're going to create a simple little PHP script uh, in our web root folder, um, but in order to find out where that web root folder is, we're just going to use the gerp command and then we'll type uh, document root and then httpd.conf. So we're going to search our configuration file for the word document root. It will tell us right here that our document root is library web server documents. So we're going to change directories over to library web server documents and this is where we'll be able to create our little index.php script to confirm that everything's working. So if we um, view the contents of this directory with the ls command, um, we'll see there's only a few files in here. We're going to use nano again. We're going to do nano and then index.php to create a new file. Um, in this blank file, we'll just open PHP. We'll type the PHP info function and close PHP. We're going to close nano. Uh, yes, we want to save. Confirm to save and ls to make sure it's there over on the right side index.php we'll go back to our browser we have to do localhost slash index.php uh, we now have php version 7.3.11 running on our mac very very simple process um, it helps it helps that it's already there and installed we're just really enabling it and turning it on um, so pretty straightforward easy to do process um, I normally use Dreamweaver for editing my PHP files, but uh, just since we have Terminal open and we're just adding a small little thing, I'll just go back to Nano. So this is just a really simple and quick way to get a web server and PHP server up and running on your local Mac machine. Um, obviously, if you're going to be using this for any sort of 
real world use, then you're going to want to do a whole lot more configuration and uh, take a look into um, a lot of security uh, settings and everything, but we're not going to go in depth into that. Uh, the point of this video is just to help you uh, get something quickly set up and turned on simply for uh, testing purposes. If you want to do some coding and test things on your local machine, um, this is a really quick and easy way to do so. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please check out my other tutorials, and if you uh, found this helpful, please hit the uh, like or share button.